This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we give you. We'll get this done. Hi guys, this is Adam with Adrenaline Cycles again coming at you today. Um, we got a new, well, 2022 switch pontoon in here. It's the 18 foot with the 230 horsepower. Like I said, we just got it in the shop. Uh, this one's been uh, sold and had a deposit on it for a while now. Um, but I wanted to go over some of the stuff uh, on this machine that really makes it uh, unique and really, uh, you know, some of the highlights of what this uh, switch pontoon can offer you guys. Um, as you guys might know, typically if you're in the market for a pontoon, I know a lot of other manufacturers um, will charge you, you know, a separate trailer fee. So when you go there to buy it, you got a price and then you got a trailer fee on top of it. And, you know, you get uh, kindly... Like you don't know um, you know that you're gonna have that extra expense and they vary from you know probably three thousand dollars up to six thousand dollars depending on the size of the pontoon and how many axles you get on your trailer but with the sea do switch it does come with the trailer it's done factored into the price it's done in the MSRP you guys see online um, it's a really nice trailer it has a similar coating to like a um, bed liner um, some of the other highlights on it is that it has a nice ladder here to get in and out um, really good winch setup with the safety tether on it as well. Nice jack. And um, one thing I want to want you guys to know, if you are picking one of these up, it's something that it's really hard to catch on to. But for some reason, it's got a five plug. And what that is, is you have to get an adapter. And we sell them here in our dealership. We found this out after the first one. But that's a funky adapter we didn't know nothing about when we got them in until the first customer went to hook it up to his truck and didn't have the correct adapter. But um, it's for the braking system on this. So it's it's just a little funky. I don't know where BRP come up with it or whatever. But just be aware of that if you're going out um, to get that um, new switch that uh, most dealers probably don't have that figured out yet. And maybe they do. And you know whatever but uh you do have a, a weird plug on there but it's really nice connector i mean you know it's got the safety chains it locks really good it's really good setup for the trailer wise um, it does have the nicer wheels on the trailer i like that especially coming from like you know um, higher end bass boats and whatnot back here at the wheels uh we'll check it out here it looks like it's a 13 inch on a uh, aluminum you know rim really nice got the chrome lug nuts a nice center cap things like that um, got a fender on as well with integrated lights and then obviously you got nice padded bunks here which everybody wants you know to keep the hole looking nice and new um, we'll go on around the back while we're talking if you want josh um, again on these they come with built-in cleats on the side these are super heavy duty um, so when you're tying it up you know to the dock or you know another boat a houseboat or whatever those are really secure and they really hold the weight of the machine all right guys we're around here at the back of the the switch this one is a sport model i don't know if i talked about that uh, at the very start um there's a couple models you just got the switch you got the cruise and this one's the sport and with the sport you got a nice spot here that's really integrated in and this will help hold your tow rope so like if you got like a wakeboard or a tube or something like that and then if you got a big old tube back here you got straps that's integrated in here so you can tie your tubes around to the side and keep them you know secured out of the way while you're traveling down the lake so i thought that was a really cool setup it's nice integrated there and uh works out really good here's the spot to tie you know to put your loop on or whatever it's securely mounted down in here it's not going anywhere um while we're here we'll talk about the light pole that you can put in the back for you know navigation lights at night real simple your typical marine grade just the round with the two plugs on a hot and ground and it'll stick up real nice and neat also with this swim deck uh, platform here it's really nice uh, if you want to utilize the q-link items you can use that back here um, really easy to pull up and down and for me what i would use it for will probably be um, the storage bags i like those maybe the small cooler or something like that or if you wanted to leave 
the two down if you really wanted to put a large cooler back here you could use the two outer ones you know to hold the big cooler like off the back of a switch uh, or not a switch but a sea do um, fish pro or something like that the big live well style cooler on the back will fit on that so it's a really good feature really nice to have sturdy got metal supports underneath it so you don't have to worry about it um, again in the back here you'll see the the pontoons if we can get a little view of that you know the two outer ones are obviously thinner and they set a little higher than the the, the middle pontoon and then you got you know your obviously your jet drive you know pushes the thing it's got your ibr in it as well so you can have brake and reverse and this one does have the idf on all those switches do come with the idf system in it um, we've had good luck with these the few we've sold uh, not had any issues with the idf i know last year uh, people was having some concerns or issues but everything we've sold this year from c -Doo with the idf um, we've not had any issues or any customers coming back with anything going on with them it works really easy it's all self-explanatory when you shut the engine off and you push the idf button it walks you through on the dash everything you got to do so it's really really simple all right guys and one last thing i want to show you here at the back of the boat is the, the boarding ladder um, and it's really it ain't difficult to get out because you don't want it falling out going down the lake but you definitely got to give it a little love to get it to let go and come out like it does um, for for me it's your typical boat boarding ladder i like the big wide steps on them because i got a huge foot but it is what it is. It does work, especially for, you know, smaller people. And it works for me. Like I said, I just got either soft feet or tender feet and a big foot. So it works out, but uh, it's really nice. It does go back up in here, out of the way, out of, the, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then when you're in the water, you know, it's pretty easy just to deploy and have it there and then climb back up into your pontoon. Uh, we'll go to the front here and talk about a few more features that I like on this thing. All right, guys, a few more features here on the front that we'll talk about, and then we'll get up into the pontoon. Uh, first thing here you'll see, it's got little black bumps up here, and these are um, permanent navigation lights. So you'll have a red and green. They're LED, so you don't really have to worry about them. They should last forever. Uh, but BRP went on ahead and integrated this in, uh, which, is, again, is another nice feature. You don't have to find a pole and put it in or out up here on the front. Uh, they're already in there. And honestly, guys, I run my lights. I got the same setup on my boat with the, the nav lights built in, I just leave them on. I, I just do, you know, it's a little safety in the morning or at the dusk of the day, um, or even during the day, if somebody, you know, just ain't paying attention, they might see that little glimmer of red or that little glimmer of green, uh, just a safety thing. Another cool feature here at the front, let me pop the door open, is the storage compartment here. Now BRP sells an anchor that goes in this with a rope and everything and that's got a little bit of chain on it that's rubber coated so it's all nice really nice um, there's aftermarket ones that will fit in this i'm gonna be honest with you again um, you know i sell brp stuff but there there are more economical options which is the same-ish option but um, works out really good if you don't want to put an anchor in here this is also just a good place to have like some extra throw rope um, you know or anything like that me i would probably honestly if i'm getting on the bank and then get back in the boat i'd probably just throw my daggone flip-flops in there or my crocs or something if i didn't have the anchor in there and just utilize it for that so i'm not tracking you know mud and stuff through my boat uh, but again it just clips down in there really nice um, as you've seen i opened the door there it's really simple um, this one has it's traditional pontoon you pick it up and then it swings open but they're really big you know openings here with a i don't know like a durling bushing like what you'd have like in a side by side you know a arm or something so it, it shouldn't rattle it's, it's really quiet um, and it just holds the door secure um, we'll get up in this thing now here guys and we'll talk a little bit more about it and uh, go over some of the features on the inside all right guys we're up here in the pontoon now like i said this one's an 18 foot model and again, uh, traditional thinking would have you feel like an 18 foot pontoon is really, really small. In reality, guys, I'm telling you, when I got on the 13 foot pontoon and rode it around on the lake at our demo day, I was blown away by how much room it had. So uh, on a 13 footer, a single family, you know, of four or five, perfect. You know, um, it'll do all you want it to in a 13 foot. You don't think it will, but I'm telling you guys, it will, it will absolutely do a great job for a family of four or five you know people in it 
room wise performance wise just and you know really have a small smaller footprint at your house when you're trying to store the you know the watercraft for the year um, but on this 18 foot you see up here on this sport model you get loungers and they're mounted to the floor with the quick latch so you can pull them and move them around however you want but one thing we didn't do for this customer because i said it was sold and we're in here and i got my shoes on uh, was we didn't put the mats down these are mats that go down and they're probably about an inch thick and these go down and they're they're super soft and they got these clips on the bottoms here josh if you can get in on that and what these do is they lock into these corner tabs down here and what it does is it gives you just a well let's see here i guess this one goes over here okay so it goes on that side where the lounger would be so it's a little wider than the center ones and it's padded and you can just lean back in the lounger and you got this padded stuff works out really really good and what i like about it is it's it's like walking on um what's them hey dudes which i guess mine's not hey dudes or sketchers but it's like walking on that foam on those i mean it's just super soft super nice and sitting on it going down the lake whatever it works out really really good but we just didn't take them out of the box guys we left them in the box for the customer to put in when he gets home and do whatever he wants to with that but uh, moving on back here um i'll show you some stuff at the console we'll talk about the behemi top here so i'll switch spots with josh so we can get on this side guys hold on all right guys we're at my favorite spot on the pontoon and that's the steering wheel slash really handlebars on these um we get a lot of people saying well how how do you you know why don't you think it has a steering wheel or why do why didn't they put a steering wheel on it well guys really this after a few seconds of driving it you don't even know it's a handlebar anymore that that thought goes away um especially if you got a c do right now or a, a pwc of any kind when you get on here dude it's it's instant you know where you're going i like it because while i'm going down the lake you know i don't have to put my hand hand off over here to move the throttle or anything i keep both hands on the wheel uh, i've got cup holders right here if i need them and stuff like that everything's really really close and it's still low profile so i get to see everything unobstructed i know some pontoons just have a bunch of stuff going on a bunch of 40 different gauges trying to read 20 things you don't need to even worry about um, and that's one thing with the new dash and these it's got uh, you know the tilt and trim it shows that for the varial trim system it's got the different modes for sport or normal got the idf uh, it's got cruise so you can set it on cruise control i mean it's got a lot a lot of functions um, so it's really really cool and they're just comfortable the grip sitting here comfortable this does come with a garmin seven inch uh, gps here and one cool thing about this, I got these on uh, my boat. They're not sevens, so I got the nines, uh, but they're touchscreen and they work really, really good. If you do the Garmin app on your phone, you can keep it up to date, but you can mark waypoints and all kinds of cool stuff. And then if you choose to, you can go ahead and go online and order the transducer. So you'll have the fish finding capabilities of it, which is another cool feature, but it's mounted here. Like I said, it's not so much up in your face. It's just here get you around the lake, get you back to the boat dock, whatever you need to do, explore. And it's really, really good for that. And like I said, it does have the fish finding capability if you buy the transducer. Another option on the sport, um, switch sport pontoons is the, the mirror. It comes standard on this because it knows you're gonna be towing people. It's fully adjustable. It can go up or down on the rail here. This goes up and down. If I adjust the knob, it can go up or down. And then obviously it pivots up here on the mirror, just like a normal mirror. A uh, really nice feature there. Again, I like to run it high. You know, the customer can adjust it however they want. But again, I like to have this view in front of me, especially if you're riding uh, early in the morning or dusk in the afternoon. Uh, just being able to see stuff, guys, is really important on, on any anything on the water. Another cool feature on this is that um, it does have a stereo. It's all Bluetooth. The controls for it's right here in the dash. And as you see here, I just put my cell phone in this and and it rides there I, i've you know you'll see in this video we've took it out on the lake and uh you know done its uh you know pdi there on the water and you'll see that in this video at the end but uh, how the stuff works like the dash and the radio and things like that um, we talked about the seating um, it's really nice it's modular 
Uh, one good thing I like about this boat doesn't have any wood in it at all, guys. You're not going to have rod issues. You're not going to have any issues like that. Um, you don't have to worry about wood getting wet. I mean, all this stuff's high, um, you know, high materials. You know, really good stuff, and it doesn't uh, deteriorate like a lot of other pontoon manufacturers out there. They try to make them as cheap as they can and charge such so such a large amount of money for them. You know, this stuff, the seating material is really nice. And another cool feature for more storage, the seats will lift up. And then if you want, you can take it all the way out. But all these seats lift up and give you tons of storage for, you know, towels, you know, extra food, snacks, um, life jackets, whatever you want to put in there. So that works out really well. The back seats fold down and up. So it's really cool here. Uh, flips up and down and you got the nice corner tables and like I said all these seats do move guys because you see these big bright yellow uh, Levers you can pull them loose and you can have all the chairs run up around the front and take the loungers out You can move the corner tables to the front. I mean, it's really modular and versatile and lets you do stuff like that um, Where I'm standing at now is the engine compartment um, It's under here and you use these. I'm not going to open all this up, guys. It's in other videos. But you can use these. And it easily says locked or unlock. And uh, where they're new, the best thing to do is step on them. And then that allows you to turn them. Because if you don't step on it and get a little weight to compress that seal, you about can't get the thing to turn. You'll break the handle about it. Um, another cool feature on this a lot of people don't know is the little bump seat here, or bolster seat. So if you are towing somebody or you want to get a little more view behind you, if you are wanting to ride, uh, you know, side legged or side saddled as you people call it. But that's a really cool feature that's on this model as well. And like I said, the seats are really, really nice. You can sit on them with wet clothes. They're, they're going to dry out really fast and just do everything you need them to do. Um, up front, there is some more storage here. I'll show you guys that one. I will open it up here. Like I said, you know, it comes apart really easy and this will hold um, an extra battery if you want to put one in. It will also hold, uh, it's got the light pole in there for the rear. It'll hold a paddle, um, life jackets, just anything that you want to put in there. I mean, it's, it's a, a big storage spot, really easy to get to. Um, odds are it's not waterproof, guys, so don't think it is because the water will get through this and down on everything in there. So it's not going to be waterproof, but it'll do the job what you want it to do. Sounds like the town's on fire. So we'll hold on a second, let everything get by here. All right guys, it sounds like all the emergency personnel's got by us here and even a helicopter flew over. So I don't know what's going on here in our little town, but uh, something's definitely happened. But uh, that's what we're not talking about guys. We're talking about the Switch Sport uh, pontoon here. Uh, went over a lot of stuff, the console, the seats, the storage. One other feature I really, really like, I think it's a huge benefit over every other pontoon I've been on or been around, is the behemi top or bikini top, whatever top you want to call it here. I don't know. We're from the country. We just call it a top. But uh, the added storage up front is really, really nice. Um, we utilize this for um, towels and life jackets while we're out riding around. It's got a nice, you know, gap up here to put it in. It's plenty strong enough to hold that. Don't put nothing real heavy up here, but it'll probably hold 25 pounds of stuff. Uh, you know, a couple wet towels to let dry. Um, we've also got like them little body boards we'll stick up here. That's a, they're made out of like styrofoam or whatever. They go up there. Really nice place to put that stuff out of your way. Uh, the material is really nice, really durable. Um, from what we've seen so far, we've not had anybody have any complaints. I don't know really what it is. Uh, I ain't going to lie to you, but it, it's really durable and it holds up really well. Uh, but the biggest thing on this over every other one I dealt with is the framing. I mean, this stuff is huge. It's, it's nice and modular bent here, so it's real nice smooth bend, and then it bolts together here and goes across. But everything's gusseted in the corners. It's got bolt-on rails to help keep the tops tight. Um, really super simple. The back is even bigger than most, uh, you know, main frames on other pontoons. And then it runs across. It's all secured nice and neat. Uh, the biggest thing is going up and down. This thing, you can put it down in literally 15 seconds. Um, I'm not going to do that because actually the customer's coming to get this thing really, really soon. So um, I'm going to leave it up for him to check it out so we don't have to go up and down. The, the salesman will go over that with him. But 
really, really nice, really, really great um, you know, thought went into this when BRP designed it. And it's a, a ton of fun to have out on the water. So if you're in the market for one of these guys, you know, you can reach out to us here at the shop at Adrenaline Cycles, 606-258-0005. Um, uh, we do have a few available. Um, the one next to us, Josh, if you want to show them that one. This one is a 21 foot sport model with a 230 horsepower. Um, that one is available. It's in the yellow, so it's a little longer and a different color, which I really like. I like the bright colors, guys. I don't know what it is. Um, but the red, the yellow definitely stands out. We do have that one in stock, and we got two more coming in that, that'll be here. And then we got quite a few that will be coming in this, the, I guess, probably January um, for 2023. But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Hit that like and share button as well. Hit the subscribe button because it does help. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, guys. I want to do something really good there, so let's get there within the next two weeks. And uh, just be safe on the water, guys. I tell you, we all go to the lake, and we, we like to um, have our adult soda pops and things like that. But be responsible, guys. Take, take care when you're on the water because you never know uh, what could happen. It might not even be you that does something wrong. It could be somebody else. So take care on the water, have fun, and have your life vest really close by in case you ever did need them. All right, guys, right here on the water today, and uh, we done done the walk around at the shop on this Switch 18-footer with the 230 horsepower. Um, just want to go over a, a few other things while we're here on the water. Obviously, the top goes up. It's a behemoth top, and the, the biggest thing about this, on this, um, the sport model, you get the rear view mirror so you can watch behind you and see people that you're towing and things like that. Um, we've already talked about the seven inch Garmin that you get as well and the controls and all that. So all that stuff we talked about, mainly here on the water, you get a feel, hopefully in this video, of how big and how much room you have on this. Like I said, this is the sport and not the cruise model. And um, some of the features you get on this, like I said, is a 230 horsepower um, Rotax engine, which is really nice and your traditional controls we done talked about. Uh, this is a cool feature. Um, we've been talking about this and that's the little um, high seat. You pull the bolster up. So if you are pulling somebody instead of trying to sit on your foot or anything like that, you got this so you can turn around if you don't want to use the mirror. Um, that's a really nice feature um, and it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, you might not even know it if you wasn't thinking about it. Um, some other good things to talk about on this machine is the storage. Um, we'll show underneath these seats here how everything's plastic. There's no wood in this boat at all. So there's no rot issues anywhere to be had or have to deal with at any point in time. So this is really cool. And these are, again, interchangeable by the latches. You can move this around the deck, um, as you can see up here. You can move these seats forward. You can move those back. We don't have the, the big thick pads out on the front, guys, because we didn't want to be stepping on them. They're brand new. We left them in the box. Um, this is a lot easier to clean up than the big pads. Normally, you'd have about an inch thick, uh, maybe a little thicker than an inch, um, big foam pads to go in these. They interlock in these corners here. That's what these spots are for. They'll all interlock, and that lets you utilize the loungers up front. So, I um, mean, we've talked about that, you know, at the shop, but uh, really nice setup. This is... Um, a pretty quick pontoon, uh, real world speed with a 230, um, two adults, and I'm big, I'm about three adults myself. So, but me and another guy, and then uh, another his son with us. But out here on the water, we're hitting 35, 36 mile an hour. Um, pretty calm day, so you know that's what you can expect to see. So, mid 30s, almost 40. I would say with uh, some tuning or maybe a prop change, you could get a little more out of it. But uh, really, it's a good cruising speed. It's super quiet. You can carry on a conversation um, because the motors and everything are down and super quiet. Um, what we'll do is here, we'll start up and uh, we'll take off down the lake here and let you guys see a little bit of uh, me driving it and kind of like the wake behind it and just, uh, you know, hopefully experience a little bit of what we get to, you know, do here by driving this machine. So... We'll pause it here and then we'll come back and I'll be driving this thing down the lake. All right guys, so we're sitting here at the console. Again, like I said, it's traditional handlebars. It's not a steering wheel. And if you got a Sea-Doo, this is completely normal. I don't think anything about it um, driving this, um, especially after riding you know, a Sea-Doo one weekend and getting on this the next. It's completely normal. It feels normal. I don't have any reservations about it. Had some friends of mine drive it. Um, after about 
two or three minutes, they, they are just, you know, you don't even know it's not a steering wheel anymore. So that's one thing people do ask, well, how do you get, you know, used to the handlebars? It, it, within three to five minutes, you're used to it. But typical controls, we'll go ahead and start it up. So we got it running here. And this model does have uh, the IDF, so you can uh, use that to kick out any um, rocks or, you know, it ain't gonna do a rope, but anything you might suck up besides a rope, it'll kick that back out. Um, and then also the modes here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on sport mode. Uh, check my trim, it does have variable trim on these and you can read it in the dash, which is a nice feature to have. And then that's about it, it's in neutral. Pull the lever, it goes in forward, and we just start easing up. Pull this lever over here, it goes back to neutral. Um, pretty good setup, I like how the Garmin set, it's right here, it's, it's, it's not so up high in your weight, it's not so big and bulky that it, you know, it just takes away from everything else, but we'll get this thing going here and just try it. You know, I'm mic'd up. I don't know if you'll get the sound, but the thing is really quiet. I mean, it does its job really well. So let's take off here. And we're already at 25 miles an hour in, you know, no time at all. There's 30, probably ain't went less than 100 yards. There's 35, and that's where I said we'd be at, guys. I mean, good cruising speed. You probably hear more wind noise than you are the engine. It's just the wind blowing here. But super smooth, it doesn't want to porpoise or anything uh, it will cut on a dime and it can you know throw you out of the seat so you know if you're wanting to have that fun and, and exhilaration of being able to cut and maneuver really quickly I mean it'll do it <laughs> uh, uh, as we said it, it, it will do it so uh, but all in all, guys, this thing is a ton of fun. Um, like I said, this is the 18-foot model in the Sport. Uh, me, I'd be more of the cruise guy. I want all the seating I can get so we can all ride around <laughs> and have a good time and, uh, you know, jump off some rocks and do what we want to do. But uh, like I said, guys, really, really nice, you know, thought-out machines um, and a ton of fun on the water. And like I said, we went over a lot of this at the start of the video, but here's all your lights underneath, everything like that. So you got your horn your um, lights and all the, the navigation lights, the front are built in, the, the rear's a pole. And then you got your um, pump out for the air, and then you got your bilge pump, and obviously your courtesy lights on the inside. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, not a lot more to talk about on this. Like I said, they've been hard to get, even for us as a dealership. Um, so that's why we're trying to do these videos so you guys can see them. So if you do, you know want to get one you can call us you can call your local switch c -Doo dealer um, and that's one thing you guys need to look for just because they're a c -Doo dealer does not mean they gotten switched switch was limited by brp to certain dealers so they only allocated certain dealers to have this and we was fortunate enough to get that this year we got like seven next year we're going to get 15 so we're getting up for the 2023 models 2023 is no difference except base models up the horsepower and uh, that's about it guys as always if you got any comments or questions down below just please ask those i'll try to answer them i do answer the comments myself i don't have anybody else doing that so it's my comment back to you guys and uh, make sure you like and subscribe because that does help the channel and as always when you're out here on the water make sure you got your safety stuff your coast guard kit your life jackets our life jackets are under the back seat here for everybody on board and uh, you just want to be safe because you want to go home the same way you left it in one piece This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we'll get this done.